let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, how wonderful are the words of the psalmist when he said, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young. A place near your altar, Lord, Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Even though we can't meet physically as a church today, we come in spirit with the whole church. And as families gather together before you in worship, with some even with your workers, we can have a church in our own place. We find peace where we are, for you are with us always. Lord, may you forgive us of our sins, of our hard-headedness, of our insubordination, for because of that, many of us are sick. Please heal us, Lord, our country and the people from wickedness, that we may recover from this disease, whether physically or spiritually. May people come before you for healing, and not to a false god, but you the only true God. Lord, we pray for those who have lost their loved ones due this. We know that it is not easy, and somehow it is difficult to understand why this happens. But as Isaiah says, that it shall be well for the righteous, not only in good times, in fruitful times, but even in dark and sorrowful times. So Lord, we ask for your comfort for them, that they may feel your real presence with them at this moment. We also pray for those who cannot work, and earn for their living, that may you be the one to sustain them. Our government can only do so much, but your riches abound. And we also ask that your people will continue to bless others as they have been blessed. We are thankful that we as church were able to give relief goods to our community, and we pray that our neighbors will acknowledge your love for them through us, that they will come to know you as we face these hard times together. We pray for our speaker today, Pastor Alvin, that he will speak with wisdom coming from you and he will be able to relate to us the life that Jesus had lived and that your spirit will convict us to follow in his steps, to love those whom you have loved. Prepare our hearts today. Prepare our minds for your truth and prepare our body to serve you and love others like Jesus did. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.